He's been described as the greatest gymnast the country has ever produced. Olympic champion Max Whitlock has become the first man in more than 30 years to retain a pommel horse title in the Olympic Games following his gold medal victory on Sunday. And the celebrations didn't just erupt in Tokyo, although it certainly did there. It also did with Max's family. They were cheering him on back home and screaming and jumping around. <laughs> and we understand Willow even gave up her favourite TV show. Well, let's find out a bit more, cos Max joins us now from Tokyo, uh, along with his mum, Madeline. And his wife Hi. Leah and daughter Willow. Hello, Madeline. And there's <laughs> Leah and Willow as well back here in the UK. Wonderful to see all of you this morning. I'm sure, Max, you would say go to the girls first, but we have to come to you. Congratulations. <laughs> um, extraordinary uh, and extra tense, I think, because when you suddenly found yourself going out first, we all thought, because <gasps> there is a yeah. different kind of pressure of that. 100%. Just before I start, I didn't know that the, um, my, my family was coming on, so it's a nice surprise, so thank you. It was good to see you all. Um, yeah, I mean, it was um, crazy, crazy, and I felt exactly the same as you. The pressure was on. I was the most nervous I've ever been before a uh, pommel horse final in my life, any competition I've done before. Um, first up was a new experience for me, and, you know, I didn't have the option of watching other people or Scott watching other people and seeing what scores are coming through to tailor my routine. I had to go all in. My risk difficulty value was there. The risk was massively high, um, and I'm just so happy it paid off. But, of course, what you did, you set the bar so high, Max, mm. that you, going first, terrified all the others. Yeah, I think you put a bit of pressure on, and I, I'm really pleased to kind of go out there first, score a big score, and then I could actually, it was the first time I watched a pommel horse final live. You know, I usually sit back and just stay in my zone, focus on my own job, but because I'd finished competing, I'd done my job, and me and Scott just sat there and just thought, do you know what, I couldn't have done any more. I'd done my highest difficulty routine. I'd done it as clean as I possibly could, one of my cleanest routines in this whole preparation. And um, if someone beat me, then they were the better man on the day. I'm just so happy that that, that didn't happen and I, and I come out on top in, in front of a, an incredible field of gymnasts. Did anyone scare you? Did anyone think, ooh, that's looking a bit good? There was, a, there was a few routines in there that I knew that they had huge difficulty level. Obviously, the gymnasts that, that come second and third, um, incredible pommel workers that I've you know competed alongside for quite a few years now. I knew that their difficulty level was high. Um, the way they'd done the routines was really good. Um, I was pleased with my score. I knew that it would be hard to beat, but it wasn't impossible. You know, I knew that gymnasts could come close. So it was a, it was a really intense moment. I bet it was. Now, uh, we've talked to you in the run-up when we were hoping at the time this Olympics was going to happen <laughs> in 2020. Can I just say, Leah, we all feel trying to chase Willow around <laughs> that loud. La Max is just looking on here going, there's a reason I've been, he's been having his feet up, he's been relaxing. You're trying to keep Willow in one he's spot. He's not rushing home. No, not just yet. <laughs> She's like a little pocket rocket. How, how did you cope, Leah? I mean, we've heard Max talking about it. We'll come to Madeline oh, in a moment as well. How did you cope when, when Max is going first and you've got to watch that routine and, and all the work he's put in? Um, I mean, it is most nerve-wracking going first, but at the same time, at least that major nervous bit is then done, and then we just have to obviously sit and wait to see how the rest of the the um, competitors do. Um, I'm really sorry. I'm really <laughs> sorry, that was a great move. Was that one of Willow's specialities? Is that the whip you that you're bringing to the, the next uh, Olympics? Can you see Daddy <laughs> Willow? Can you see Daddy? <laughs> I'm really sorry. Don't you worry at all. It's lovely. It's lovely to see her just obviously in captured. How has she coped? Because Dad's been away for a long time and how have you coped with that? Um, yeah, it's hard. He's been away for nearly five weeks, but um, all the grandparents have been really helpful. I've taken her out every single day to keep us all busy, but I think the last few days she's um, really started to talk about him even more. Uh, she's probably a bit, oh, We're looking at hugging a poster. There. I mean, we love your postings, uh, Max, where you post of you and Willow doing stuff together. Leah, do you think she's um, had a sense of what he's really doing? She's very little, isn't she? Um, and I know there was a little bit of competition <laughs> between her watching her favourite TV show, Paw Patrol, and watching her daddy, uh, it, I assume daddy won out. 
Um, yeah, I mean, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not, this is not going well, is it? Um, <laughs> I tell you what, Max, you've yeah, got all this. I'd be better off going straight to Madeleine, so. Uh... <laughs> Let, let's go to Madeleine. Let's go to Madeleine. We'll give you a minute to try and try and Madeline, get the camera set up. You were hoping to go with, go out to Tokyo, weren't you, back last year before we knew how things panned out? Because you always knew yeah. that Willow would be too little to go to the games. You didn't get to go, but you got to watch it. Um, how how do you feel? You must be the proudest mum in the world. Oh, amazing. I'm so, so proud. I can't put it into words. Um, it was so lovely that yeah. we were all able to actually be all together to support him. And yeah, we had a, we had a great day. Fantastic and amazing. It would have been nice to be out there to support him. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was very emotional um, day, but it was really, really lovely being together. And I'm so, <laughs> so proud. <laughs> And Matt, Max, I, I know that uh, you'll be keen to come home. Have you got Have you got any plans for when you come home? Um, I think Leah's trying to organise a celebration <laughs> on something. Um, we don't We don't like to really talk about it too much before the job's done. Now it's done, we can have a chat about it and see what we can do. But I like to just. I can't wait to get home. I've missed everyone so much. I know I... Willow's been missing me. She's been wanting me home. She's been saying it on Facetime quite a few days. So I've got a few teddies and toys to bring back to her, which I'm sure she'll be happy to hear. But I uh, just can't wait to kind of get back, celebrate with everyone that's helped me get to this point. So I, uh, yeah, thank you to everyone for their support. It's been incredible. I sense you might be shouldering some uh, parenting duties. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Leah needs to go and put her feet up for a bit. <laughs> 100. Um, I agree. I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, had, had it all for a month, so I've been away for a long time. So I fully take that on board. I, I bet you can't it. wait. I bet you can't wait. Uh, Max, I've just posted a picture of you in the studio with me and Kate from four years ago or five years ago in Rio with your gold medal. So we uh, please come into the studio and share this one with us as well, so we can We'd talk properly that. and 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 you I'd know love to. we're thrilled to bits for you, for Mum Madeline, for Leah, and for Little Willow as well. We couldn't be more proud. We know how much they put in to get you there as well. And it's a real team effort. But congratulations to all of you. I'll Have be glad that the last time you came in and you did something on our studio, you did a little bit of an exhibition, that we're glad we didn't damage you. There you are with the <laughs> Rio medal. Absolutely fabulous. Uh, we'll get something special for you next time. Maybe bring Willow too. <laughs> 100 percent 100 that'd be brilliant i'd love to come back in thank you for all your support with everything. not at all we're so so proud and thrilled for all of you amazing thank you very <laughs> much madeline max leah but especially we willow see you soon willow <laughs> bye <laughs> we're all waving thank you. willow's like who are those weird people waving up there? I, just, I just want daddy